Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk here on the Nintendo Wii. It's a little bit earlier than I usually play, uh, but that's okay. <clears throat> it looks like it's gonna snow. I don't think since Christmas time, since time traveling, actually. TNPS, what is this? Congratulations, you've amassed 20,000 points, making you a wonderful Platinum member. Uh, bonus, 20% off all purchases. Nice, that's Nook points. Okay, so we got the card. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's what we gotta do today. Oh, crap. Assuming Gracie Grace is even open right now. This looks so sketchy. I just opened my inventory for the first time ever in my entire life and just saw that. Zero bells, full, empty inventory. Scared the living crap all out of me. But I think that's correct. So you know what? We are going to... Eh. We're going to run to the city. We're going to go directly to the city. And, uh... Well, let's see what's open. Is anything open yet? Check the bulletin board. So the plan last time that we came up with. The flea market this weekend. That didn't pass yet, did it? No, it should be this weekend. <laughs> Weather forecast. <clears throat> Fishing tourney, missed that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this isn't even open yet. 9 a.m. Okay. I'm hoping that the Gracie Grace is open. We're gonna go to the city and find out, I guess, right? Hopefully they got earlier, uh, they wake up earlier in the city than country folk. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so last week we decided, oh, we came up with a plan. We came up with a plan to clear out a lot of the money, burn through money faster. It was actually two weeks ago, which is why I'm having a hard time remembering. Um, but yeah, we learned, we figured out a way to burn through money uh, using the shopping card and just buying really, really expensive items um, from Gracie Grace, or just in general, really. Uh, but just buying really expensive items and throwing them in the recycling bin, it'll help burn through money faster and more efficiently um, than cashing in, like, or going to the ABD and getting out, like, bags of 99,000, because I think, like, you might be able to get through, like, a million bells that way, but here, you can buy items, oh god, nothing's open yet, dude, 9 a.m., of course, of course, gotta wait 15 minutes, I'm sure I have, but I don't know if I've ever heard this early morning city mu music before. Take a second to appreciate that. That's awesome. When do you open? 10 a.m. You loser. Who, why are you here? I never notice it when I'm walking around back home, but my shoes are filthy. You know what I need? A shoe shine. Yeah, well, he ain't here today. At least not right now. This is so weird, dude. I honestly don't know if I've ever been to the city this early. What is open? So the Shampoodle looked like it was open. The auction house is open. I've never utilized the auction house in my life. That was supposed to be like a big, like... Nintendo Wi-Fi connection thing. Um, 
But yeah, never in my life have I ever utilized it. I mean, for the honestly, for the longest time when I had my Wii, uh, my parents have never been tech savvy. And at that time, I was also not very tech savvy. So I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to connect my Wii to the internet via Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. 10 a.m. Um, so, you know, it was what it was, so that might have played a huge part, uh, in me not playing nearly as much online as I maybe should have via Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. I need to, f I need to dig out and find my, uh, well, not in that order, find and dig out, um, my We Speak peripheral. <laughs> I imagine this one you can get inside, but there are probably just no show times. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, nothing's open yet, guys, here in the city. It's kind of peaceful, though. I kind of enjoy it. So everything's basically like between 9 and 10 a.m., except for... Uh, the Shampoodle. And the Auction House, but... Hey, it's Midge. Right? Yeah. I wish there was a bench right here. That I could just sit on. And just chill here. And listen to this music. The game is just so beautiful, guys. Like, I love this game so much. Take me home. Take me home, country road. Um. But yeah. So. Alright, what's the game plan? We got, like... 13 minutes. Uh, good old lucky 13 until we can actually go to the city and actually utilize anything. Well, how'd the city treat you, me wee chowderfish? Not great, Captain. I'll be honest, not great. Your smile uh, be just about ear to ear. I take it you bumped into a cute lass. Our lasses, I don't be understanding them. But gar, if I could live without them. <laughs> Cause perhaps they be wishing they could make sense of us gents as well, right, Sprat? Nah, I think us gents are pretty straightforward. I don't know about you. Uh, looks like we about to we about to cruise. Looks like we be about to cruise into Domoburg. That be some good bonding we just did, Yar. Yar, well, stay manly and mysterious, Sprat. We got to keep the lasses on their wee little toes. Yeah, so. Maybe that's a thing, you know, because, like, it's always a cliche, like, ooh, guys, or ladies go for, like, the mysterious guy, you know? It's the mysterious, ah, uh, tall, dark, handsome gentleman, right? The man of mystery. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe us as guys are just so shallow and, like, dumb. I don't want to say, I don't want to say dumb, but like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe we're so easy to figure out that like, even a little bit of mystery makes us that, that much more appealing to women. You know what I mean? Just a theory. Cause like, I think a lot of women are like captivating, like they're thoughtful and like, and, and, and to some extent mysterious, right? You're trying to figure them out and like, what figure out their story men i mean yeah like we we got that but we don't hide it usually i feel like we're we're like i don't know either it, we bottle it up to the point where it barely exists and it becomes a moot point of discussion or uh or we're just flat out just like willing to talk about it which again alleviates the mystery, the sense of mystery. <laughs> or we just have like different priorities. Not in like a 
better priorities way, that's for sure. A lot of the times our priorities are not better in any stretch of the imagination. But, you know what I mean. We don't prior prioritize, like, I don't know. I want to say holding grudges, but nah, I know a lot of guys that hold some pretty deep grudges. <clears throat> I have a handful of grudges. I try not to. It's not worth it. Not worth the time or the energy. So I guess I'll just pick weeds. <laughs> my manly priorities tell me that I need to take care of my lawn. My dad priorities. I gotta keep up my lawn. I should probably go get a shovel too, I guess. Oh, Wendell's here today. And this person that I'm not totally sure. Starling, I have met you. Whoa, John. I don't run into you for a bit, and look what happens to your head. Scraw? What happened to my head? Even I've got a better do. Oh, okay, well. And I just finished seven straight hours of extreme bowling. That's because the other day I hit up the salon in the city and had them fix up my bed head pronto. <laughs> you might want to give it a shot yourself. Scraw! Yeah, maybe. But also maybe not, because I have a hat on, so who cares? <laughs> Pretty sure my head, or my hat, or my hair, can't speak. Pretty sure my hair is going to look the same no matter what, because of the hat. Like, if I took the hat off, yeah, it'd be straggly, but like... I could get a, a nice updo. And my hair would still, I'm pretty sure, look exactly like this when wearing a hat. So. Hard pass. Oh, I missed a weed down there, man. Hold on, dad's coming. Dad's coming to pluck the weed. Don't you worry. Ain't no crabgrass popping up on my lawn. Not today, no how. Where'd it go? Oh, it's behind you. No, no wonder I didn't see it. Got it. Hi, Wendell. Bye, Wendell. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Did I get all the weeds up here? No, I did not. I missed one because I was distracted by that other weed. Maybe I should build a snowman. What time is it? I got like seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes is a good amount of time to build a snowman, right? I will say that that was the most effective, uh, loose snowball rolling I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, this, uh, yeah I like pushing up rather than down. Uh... You never know when a river is going to pop out of nowhere, and then it's too late. You can't just pull back like that. So I'm going to leave that that size. And now I'm going to go find the other snowball. I'm pretty confident that I already saw it somewhere. But for the life of me, I do not remember where. So I'm going to have to track it down, I suppose. As is tradition. Oh, weed. Oh, other weed. My lawn is gonna look pretty spiffy. If I do say so myself. Just to clarify, I'm on I'm on real time right now, right? Yeah, about so. 55. Ooh. Oh, I found the snowball and three weeds.
I've got to take it easy with the snowball since I don't have the same grid like formation of trees over here. I don't know where the crap. There it is. So I don't know where the snowball just went. There we go. There's the money. Say, I especially don't want to accidentally bounce it off a tree and break it. That'd be no okay. <laughs> mm. Skrr! All right, roll across here without break or without like rolling too much snow off of it. <laughs> Same thing here. Oh, I see a weed over there, though. Gotta get that real quick. Oh, boy. That was almost really bad. Oh, I got it. Yes. I was actually really nervous. I was gonna accidentally pick up the, uh... The design patch rather than... You know. Because there's that snowball. <laughs> Gotta find where I want to place my snowman. place him right up here. And so I'm gonna roll him around like this. Try not to hit trees, but also trying to uh, center his, his butt here between these two trees. That looks really good. That's a solid butt, I think. It's a pretty solid butt, I'd say. If I do say so myself. Ooh! Just pinballed it off a tree a little bit there. Trying to lose some volume, some mass in this head real quick. Before plunking it on top here. bit more. Uh, it's, it's tough to tell from this perspective. I think we're gonna go for it. Screw it, here we go. Uh, shivering snowflakes, look at this craftsmanship. Yeah, I think there's a, a window of air that you can, you know, as long as you hit in the right range of size, it automatically corrects to the correct size. Anyway. Shivering snowflakes, look at this craftsmanship. My perfect roundness, this balance of body and head. There's not an ounce of criticism I can give. I hope you know you've rolled together the happiest guy in this whole winter wonderland. You should have a title. Henceforth, you are Lord Freezing, worth ton shire a lot. I gotta go. All right, so there's my snowman. And uh, we are two minutes out. So as long as this bus ride is a pretty long bus ride, we should be good to go. Hold up. Let me run down here into the town hall building. Run inside, make sure the, uh, you know, the recycling bin is nice and empty. word okay so recycling bin is nice and empty i am ready to fill it i should also go check how many slots are in it though because i'm an idiot and i should have done that in the first place because i don't want to get buy too many things and then not have enough space i think it was 10 slots oh good 12 word so i can fit 12 of whatever i buy in the recycling bin at any given time and then today is Wednesday, so Thursday will be tomorrow, 6 p.m., I think it said. There's 6 p.m. or 6 a.m., I'm not totally sure, uh, on Monday and Thursday. So, to the city. Anyway, tomorrow night, it'll be, the trash will be taken out. Right as I get on the bus, the clock tolls. Mm -hmm. 
Ahoy there, me wee fry. I got a question for you. Do you like celebrity gossip? No. <sighs> no. No. Alright, let's roll out. Alright, so now we got the real music playing. Not the real music, but the, uh, the lively midday city folk music. And I think the most expensive item here is the bed. Oh my god, things are sold out already? Oh no, I don't want it to be a sale item. Crap. So I'm saving 20%, so fatally flawed. Two. This is annoying, actually. Three. Four. Five. Six. Right, let me count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So we're halfway there, guys. So for anybody wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I, I I've explained it like a hundred million times here uh, already on the Let's Play. But um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three more. Um, I'm trying to waste my money. I have maxed. I modded myself to maxed out bells, and I missed my opportunity because of that to manually pass the threshold. Uh, which is required to get the golden shopping card. As you see, I ordered a new shopping card, and it's still just the regular one, despite being a maxed-out bank account. Um. So I'm trying to spend all my money so that I can, you know, value money a little bit more in the game, because that's part of Animal Crossing's allure. Um. But also so I can get that gold shopping card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe. I should say I should I could maybe get the golden shopping card. There's no guarantee that what I'm planning on doing is actually going to funk or actually going to uh work. Goldie. Huh? I guess that balloon guy is just not coming around today, is he? Somebody in uh, my comment section, so it's a 10, right? Garbage. Uh, somebody in my comment section on one of my animal, my recent uh, City Folk videos was like, no way, you got Phineas to come to your uh, city? I've been trying to find him and I've never found him. Which is weird to me because Phineas is like here almost every week for me. Almost. Obviously, he's not here today. Um, but it might be Mondays. There might be a set day Phineas shows up. I don't know if it's random or what the deal is. Um, 
Captain just really hellbent on me finding a good lass today. And I'm not sure how to feel about it. <laughs> All right. for a super hardcore question. If all that was left in this world was Monty, me, and you, and let's say Monty had a, mo a mahjong table, who would you choose? Me or Monty? Scraw? You? My cat is making a lot of noise. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm choosing you over your buddy. Sure, whatever. I should have said neither. I wouldn't keep either of you! Let you both rot! This is dumb of me. I wanted to actually uh, dump this crap that I just bought. Yep, nothing, nothing that really strikes my interest. I like that train set, but I'm pretty sure I already have a train set. At least cataloged. Not that I have any bells on me anyway. I'm not sure if uh, Nookington's takes the shopping card, to be honest. I think the shopping card was designed explicitly for Gracie Grace being such a... It's such an expensive place. That in order to buy an entire collection, you'd have, almost have to either have something like the shopping card, 6 a.m., um, or you'd need to, like, fill your pockets up with bell bags. Like, it would take two spaces just to buy one, or actually, like, three, maybe three and a half, so four spaces of inventory just to buy one gorgeous bed. Uh without the use of a shopping cart. Which I feel like uh, City or Animal Crossing New Horizons missed out on a big opportunity um, by not having shopping cards. I think shopping cards would be nice in uh, New Horizons as well. Let me just calculate this all real quick. All right. So 240,000, it was unfortunately 20% off, times 12 means I just dropped 2.88 million bells in the recycling bin. Which is more than double. Boom, see, we're getting somewhere. That's more than double uh, what I would have been able to put in there, just cold hard cash, like bags of bells. It would have been probably about a million or like... I think a bag of bells, the maximum could be 99,000, right? 99,000 times 12. Yeah, it'd be like 1.188 million. So 1.2 million approximately um, compared to the what? 2.8, I think I just said. So, yeah. significantly more and then once we are no longer on sale and we can get full price items i think the beds usually go for about three hundred thousand, or somewhere close to that maybe 270 000. i don't know i'm not sure um but once we get back to you know full price crap right now it's the end of season at gracie grace i guess but once we get back to full priced crap uh, we'll be blazing through even more money that way, through that method. Uh, but that's... Uh... Random letter? Oh, from Snowman. Oh, dude! Because I built that snowman before 9am, I think at 9am it counted as, like, the next day or something, maybe? I have no idea, honestly. That, that was weird. 
Snowmaster John, I'm giving you this snowman chair to thank you for making me. I understand it's good for sitting, though I've never sat personally from the snowman. I'm about to go kill some cockroaches, I think. Inside my home. Maybe put down a snowman chair. Oh, word. What was this again? Oh, Nookingtons. Oh, crap, dude. I, fought, I just got this model. This is a first-time model. I've never had that, the Nookingtons, before. That's actually super-duper cool. I love that. Um... that there and then maybe I'll put this if it fits oh it will baby oh yeah but I can't send her it still thank god Animal Crossing New Horizons introduced uh, half spaces am I right what is on the TV over there looks like a like a Wendigo or something <laughs> might have just been a deer but it was still creepy looking Anyway. Alright, so that is where we... Yeah, that. I can't tilt now. But that's where we'll leave off this week here in Animal Crossing City Folk. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single month. And when I upload new video content such as this. New videos post to the channel every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. So again, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I'm the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.